because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. This is the will of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, 
is a strong bond to this never-ending dimension to which all of us, by virtue of baptism, are called. We are called to be saints. It is not a privilege of a few. In the, in the church, we have the status of the saints, and see San Antonio, and see San Martin the Borders, and see other things. St. Peter, other saints. Sanity is not only for few people, but is a universal call for all. The author of the book of Revelation, in the first three that we hear today, describes the reality of heaven through the image of an immense multitude, which no one could count of every nation, tribe, people, and language. There are no temporal, spatial, geographical, or existential boundaries to this blessed state of eternal life, the brothers and sisters. But as the Church teaches us through her history and the list of the canonized saints, there are so many ways of holiness as there are human lives. Also, our sister Rosina had her own way of sanctification. And the same is for each and every one of us. There are fathers and mothers of families, popes and lay people, religious and bishops, young and poor, priests and monks, professionals, workers, simple people and learned people, princes and poor, soldiers and peasants, people known to the world and even people and unknown in this wonderful family of holiness. However, they all have one thing in common, having welcomed and fulfilled their desire to fully live their friendship with God in faith and love. Our friend Rosina, well, a friend of Jesus, are we friends of Jesus as well? This is the way of our holiness. If we cultivate this friendship with Jesus, in faith and love, we can really share the same fellowship of the saints in heaven. It's this alone that allows us to take the path of holiness seriously. Being holy, in fact, means sharing in the same holiness of God. The truly holy Father and source of all holiness that is God. It is always the Father, God, in fact, who in Christ first invites us to enter into communion with Him. He invites us to join in the communion. And He gives every day us a modern grace in order to be able to walk the path of discipleship. The path of holiness is not a simple path. It's a narrow door, as the gospel reminds us, because. But if we really discover the wonderful experience of being loved by God, we feel that we have to respond with generosity to this call, loving on our side as we have loved and loved for Him by Him. With that poverty in spirit, which is the availability and simplicity of the heart of those who know they are small and fragile, sinners in need of conversion and salvation, the Christian can truly let himself be molded by the Spirit to be a mirror and a reflection of the beauty of God in this world. This is what the saints are, a reflection and a mirror of the beauty of God in this world. Let us God operate in us with His Holy Spirit to transform us in this wonderful image of the Son. The saints are the ones who have left the Spirit act in themselves, making themselves transfigured in the image of Christ. The poor in spirit is Christ, the poor in spirit is Christ, the suffering for justice. Is Christ the meek? 
is Christ the unclean thirsty for justice? Is Christ the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemaker, the persecutor for justice? If we leave these dimensions in the faith of Christ in our life, following Him and welcoming His grace in our life, we can really share His friendship. We can really enjoy the community of the saints in heaven. This heavenly phrase that we call saints, dear brothers and sisters, whose glory and merits we celebrate today are our models, our guides, and intercessors. They are not God. We don't worship saints, but we honor them because they were able to live properly the experience of the Christian vocation in their life. Sometimes our Protestant sisters of the Protestant Church in a special way, they attack us and say that we Catholics worship saints, worship the Holy Virgin and the saints. That is not true. We worship only God. God is God. Our Lady is a perfect disciple, is the mother of Jesus, is the Queen of the saints, and the saints themselves are our mothers, guides, intercessors, but they are not gods. We know it very well. But we are lucky because we are taking company. We have uh, somebody that indicates us the way to follow Jesus better. The words of St. Bernard of Puerto a wonderful saints of the medieval, the medieval age are wonderful for this purpose of celebrating the saints today. He used to say, let us feel the desire of those who desire us. Let us hurry towards those who await us. Let us anticipate the condition of those who await us through the goals of the soul. We must not only desire the company of the saints, but also to possess their happiness. So while we are to be together with them, let us simulate in our hearts the most intense aspiration to share their glory. Today, accompanying to the dream of our sister Rosina, we invoke for her the same company of the saints. We invoke the saints that she loved in her earthly pilgrimage. And we hope and pray that we, that she may share with them the same presence of God. And that if she is admitted immediately to the light of God, she is another saint that can intercede for us. Because the saints, as Pope Francis reminded us, are not only the ones that are in the list of the canonized saints of the church, but the saints may be also our neighbors, our grandfathers, our friends that were faithful to the vocation of God and fulfilled his call to follow Jesus in faith and love. We hope this for our friend Rosina and we hope this for each and every one of us today that uh, men turn in this world and uh, we really long to meet every day in the presence of God when time will come.
Before we go on our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother, of our sister, Mary Rosine. May our fellow express our affection for her. May we teach our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall join your creature again when the love of Christ, which compares all things, destroys even them itself.
No, what can you say? Five after extra curriculum. She is the river, praise the Lord. She is the river, glory to His name. She was lost in sin and of the valley of death. She is the river, praise the Lord. She is the river, praise the Lord. She is the river, glory to His name.
bongcong di cingan putih bakok.